Hi guys, we're back in Virtual Box. You know we're exploring BTRFS and all the possibilities that it um, entails, it, it um, comprises. And we are on ButterFS as a example, and we have new aliases as well in BashRC or ZSHRC or FishRC. Well, fish. And one of those things is to create, I've made already a lot of videos about how to put things back with um, BTRFS Assistant, BTRFS, ButterFS Assistant, and with root. Now there is something else as well. If, and we will not do this by default, if you want to ensure that you can roll back in your home, so that's possible as well. We have here the home, but it's not set yet. So yes, we can roll back in root, restore mode, lots of videos already, restore. But there is no restore to home. Okay. So, the home folder is here. That's the home folder. And inside are your users. If I want to set that up, if I want to do something, let's do a show hidden files already on. And if I go to a terminal and there is already an um, alias for that, but Let's have a look at our aliases. So that's maybe like this alias and then butterfs no snap 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 create home. Does that exist? It exists. Okay. So snapper is the application. C stands for create, create my home folder the configuration for yeah your backups your roll your rollbacks right so snap c home is something you need to type if you want it if you want to have backups inside this beta reverse rollback system inside beta reverse assistant click a few things happen let's first show that as well before we press enter snapper when I press enter this happens you'll get a new config inside etc snapper configs is a home with its configuration and inside slash home is a dot snap snapshots with right every change you do every change you make creates a snapshot but <laughs> not really Let's go into that if with more detail. So everything is set up great. It will, if it is able to make snapshots, but will it make snapshots? No. So control E, Arclinks Tweak Tool. When you install stuff with our Arclinks Tweak Tool, for example, or just manual install things, your contents of your .config in config gets changed right um, i3 has its configuration awesome has here a folder and so on and so on so if you change something install something that has uh, that reflects something a folder a file inside your dot config like i install left wm install what happens Everything is backed and all that. We all took care of that, but we have an extra left WM. That's new. And the backup is here. Everything that was in here prior to left WM is now in here. So that nothing is lost. Everything, polybar configuration, whatever you've, you've uh, figured out and made a config about is there, the backup. So is there a need of a rollback system in home? Up to you to decide. I'm just showing you that at this point in time, snapshots, let's have a look. Let's become root. Control H, 
nothing there. So this we don't need, as we don't see anything. This one is becoming a root and we're actually inside snapshots. If you say, I wanna have a make, I wanna make a snapshot right now, then you do that. PTRFS assistant, everything is just great the way it is. Snapper, restore mode, no. Snapshot, no, because it says root. Home is what you want. Select configuration, root, or home. Now we have a choice because I've just created it. New snapshot. So here we have left WM. Ctrl Alt E. I want to have awesome. I've heard about it. I'm going to install awesome. Yep. Now it's installed. So at this point in time, in Eric, in dot config, we have the awesome configuration. It's all new. This is great. This is the way it should be. New snapshot. So it's a manual process. There's nothing that triggers your backup of your home. It's something you say, hmm, maybe I should make a backup. And I was thinking maybe we should make an alias for it. So you can just type it and then be done with it. But if you can roll back a root, I've shown many videos about that. Can you then roll back also in home so that you say whatever I did. So this was awesome. This was left WM. I want to go back to number one, restore is awesome then gone. Home of course, when I go here, say restore, fail to restore, then we have an issue. <laughs> Let's everything close everything up voila, and start again. Refresh, read again what we got. So snapper settings, snapper sorry, root, home, restore mode, and home, yeah, restore mode in home, restore. Are you sure you want to restore? Yes, please. A copy of the original software reboot immediately. Yes, sir. I will. We go back and we restart. We do not go to snapshots. We just restart. In this case, VirtualBox, the ISO is still in there. So that's restart. First line. Is awesome gone? That's the question we should ask ourselves. Is awesome gone? Awesome is nowhere to be seen. Left WM is still there. Is left WM working? Yeah, it's just log out, log in. And you know that answer to that question. Oh, look at that. He still thinks awesome is there. That's an interesting thing. Let's see. Let's log in. Ah, uh, yes. You got it? Awesome. Application is outside of the home sub volume. BTRFS and then lists. So we have the snapshots for root and the snapshots for home. But the application, awesome, where is that? Which awesome? Awesome is not inside home. So <laughs> because of what we've, we've done, we did not turn back the root installation. We only went back with the home. So yes, sure, everything is working just the way it should be, right? Everything is exactly as it should be. The awesome is gone. Your home is clean and you're back to where it was. But <laughs> the other thing, uh, 
that's live, right? Is still there. Now running BTRFS assistant is probably or let's let's go over them. Super shift D BTRFS assistant or Alt F2 or Alt F3. That's maybe the most interesting. And then you have your BTRFS or Alt F12, um, yeah, Alt F11. What am I pressing? Sorry, Super 11, guys, Super F12, yeah. But often this is just nice because you recognize the icon already by the design and it's okay, that's what I want. Launch. So, snapper, root. Where did I install awesome? There. Okay, what did I do here? That's left OEM. Okay. So if you don't want to install, don't want to see awesome anymore, then two actions necessary. One for the home and one for the root. Because the applications, user, share, opt, and all that, is part of root subvolume, not of home subvolume. So either you use home together inside root, that's not a possibility. Everything gets turned back, which I don't think is really interesting because you'll lose data. So home is now separate because of the fact that the desktop has needs a configuration in your home directory and an application in the root, you have to do twice these things. So restore mode and you have to watch out, right? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 18, 17, 16, 15. So the numbering is a little bit strange and the guys will fix it for sure over time. So I guess it's either this one or that one. This is before Awesome gets installed. So oh, I think both of these guys will be okay because after this left WM is installed, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna take this one. Restore snapshot, yes. Please reboot immediately, yes. And then we need to reboot. Super X, restart. You see the look of left WM is a little bit different. Hey. <coughs> That's why the Arclinx B is so beautiful, right? Then everything is themed and tweaked the way it should be and just has left WM. Mixing desktops is a challenge. Well, it's a fun thing. Lighthouse. All right, let's pause quickly. So let's continue. As you see, Awesome is no longer there. So in this case, otherwise you'll boot up with an awesome without the configuration. What do you get? The standard default awesome, which is not nice to look at. This happens less with general desktops because the configuration is not inside your home directory. It's somewhere else. It's inside other files and folders of your file system. But this guy is a separate sub volume. The BTRFS list provides the, no, not that one, sudo BTRFS and then sub volume. Pop, 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 pop. Sub volume li and then a root. That's still the same thing. I was looking for something else. I was looking for some IO. Best way is actually just to go over here, be the REST assistant, and it's nicely all together in here. We have everything to complete root, except cache, for cache, except home, except home snapshots, except the log, var log, and some backups. That's how it's now conceived. 
So everything that's in home is separate. The configuration of awesome was in home. The application was here. You have to turn turn them back, both of them. And that's all. But as long as you understand how everything works, then you know that's what you have to do. Right, interesting. Learning myself. Cheers.